Alright, Alex Lifeson recently gave an interview to Guitar.com where he was talking about why Rush won't try to find a replacement for Neil Peart even to go out and do some tribute shows. And he called the idea of doing this nothing more than, quote, a money ploy. Feels as though Neil Peart is an irreplaceable drummer. So even though there's a huge demand for Rush getting back together and going back on the road to just play a few tribute shows, Alex Lifeson doesn't seem to believe that there is a drummer that's capable of stepping in for Neil. He even mentioned the fact that at the end of Rush's touring career, Neil Peart felt that his drumming was slipping a little bit and that he didn't want to do anything that was less than perfect. So here's what he says. Quote, he couldn't play like he did 10 years earlier and it was very difficult. He did not want to play even one percentage less than perfect. That was understandable. And it was sad when it was over and all of that. But in retrospect, we went out on a high note and that's the legacy of Rush. So one important thing in what he says there is that he wants to preserve the legacy of Rush. But probably the more important thing is that he shows that he has acute musical insight into what made Rush work, which was the interplay of the three primary musicians and even with the idea of Neil Peart playing slightly less than perfect, Rush wouldn't have been the same so if you get somebody else in no matter how accomplished they are it won't be the same and it, without that precision and perfection of the three members blending together it's really not Rush. So here you've got a rare case where a high profile musician is dismissing the notion of going out and cashing in on a band's legacy in favor of the notion of preserving the band's reputation and musical standards. So this is worth mentioning and it's also worth contrasting with what some other bands are doing right now, which is to try to patch together a semblance of what they sounded like during their prime in order to go out and rake in the cash, even if they have to use fakery like backing tracks or auto-tuned vocals. In this case, I don't think we'll ever see that happen with Rush and I seriously doubt we'll ever see Rush bust out Rush avatars and try to cash in on their fans. And I I think this is a good thing but what really matters is what you think so if you have an idea about this or any other topic connected to classic or contemporary music please drop it in the section below and remember to like and subscribe i'd also like to remind you that we have a join button available now for those of you who would like to support the site and if you join you'll get access to members only polls members only badges and members only videos as well as other perks that you can see if you click the button which i hope you'll do thanks a lot